The National Assembly has concluded plans to go ahead with the process of amending the 2010 Electoral Act first alteration in spite of the public outrage against it. Chairman of the Senate Committee on Information and Media, Senator Ayogweze, made this known at a news conference in Abuja on Tuesday. However, on the same day in the House of Representatives, there was tension when the two lead sponsors of the bill, Honorable Igo Agoma and Honorable Cyril Maduabum, in the House condemned one of their colleagues, Honorable Patrick Obiaga, for using insulting language in his opposition to the controversial clause in the bill. My colleague, Honorable Patrick Obiaga, referred to me and they referred to this speaker, our speaker, and referred to the uh, 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 entire House of Representatives as legislative rascals. I believe that it is within the purview. I have the publication here. I have one is in the electronic uh, media, AIT. I have Sun. I have Vanguard. I have this day. Mr. Speaker, I want to call on you within within your powers to refer this matter to the Ethics and Privileges Committee for proper investigation, sir. A party of Bible in that program said, and I quote, that he calls on Nigerians to rise up in arms, to rise up in arms against the National Assembly, to rise up in arms against the National Assembly. This is incitement to violence. If anything happens to me on this floor, happens to my family, happens to any member of this house, Patrick Obayabon will be responsible for it. It's an incitement to violence against our persons, against this institution, because he thinks he can speak English the way he likes. The Speaker, Honorable Demeji Bankale, called for caution and sought to hear Obayabon's side of the story. Mr. Speaker, if you look at my press conference, after stating some of my worries, I did say these are my worries. And I call on all, all, on all honorable members to take a second look at this matter. And that if the National Assembly decides to go ahead to tinker with the electoral arts with a view to align all honorable members to be members of, their, of the parties of, 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 of NEC. If they go ahead, this would amount to legislative rascality and parliamentary gambadoism. If they go ahead, the Speaker advised the Honorable Biagong to withdraw the language and apologize to the House. Mr. Speaker, and very, 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 very distinguished and esteemed colleagues, in using that phrase, I did not intend to offend the sensibilities of my distinguished colleagues and this House. If the usage of that word offends my colleagues and the sensibilities of this House, and a reserved apologia from me. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Patrick Obayakbo, you know, sometimes we have serious difficulty in understanding the incredible manner in which we control the English language. Therefore, are you stating to this House that you're withdrawing that statement and you're apologizing to this house and you're apologizing to this house so that I'm clear on what you've just done. This institution is bigger than anybody and this institution shall live forever. If the honorable colleagues at this institution feel some further, I, 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 I tender and reserve apologia and I withdraw and I, I withdraw that statement. This institution shall live forever. Arabu Bangkuli appealed for calm and urged his colleagues to focus more on other serious assignments before the House. In the spirit of brotherhood and in moving the nation forward and the serious work we have to do, I have a rule that 
is apologize is apology and withdrawing statement and withdrawing of the statement stands. Honourable colleagues, we should not give unnecessary, unne please unnecessary attention to statements that would not mean much after today. But we should stand firm and continue to have the courage to do what is right, even when it seems unpopular. Because we are here for the long term and not the 100 meter race. I rule again that you should please stand down on that and we'll move our nation forward. This drummer in the house is an indication of how much importance the lawmakers attach to the passage of this controversial bill. Rachel Uwa for ITI.